Potato harvest day today. We have about a 25 foot row of potatoes we planted a few months ago. I think they were Yukon gold potatoes. We had planted some other potatoes down this way earlier than these ones and they did okay. We already dug those up in a previous video and they did all right. I believe or hoping <laughs> that these ones will do a lot better. They looked a lot healthier when they were growing. So we're gonna dig them up and see what we can find. But this row is extremely overgrown. We have morning glories, weeds, grass, because it's the end of the season. We, we can't keep up with it all, so we just kind of let it be. It's, it's kind of a row cover, I guess. <laughs> Those are little guys. Mm-hmm. When you, when you dig in here, you gotta make sure you don't hit the potato. Okay? Yeah, use your hands. Look, you already hit one. You gotta use your hands. Break this one up. But mom, there's ants. Well, oh, look, look at that. that. Big Whoa. Look at all these. Look at this one. Whoa. Whoa, look at that one. He's been laying underneath the the earth for some time. These are like the biggest potatoes that we've ever grown. Think we got them all? I'm double checking. I'm making something. This is emergency bucket. How's it work? Show us how it works. Then I could lift this up and then they get it. I need to help mom finish off these potatoes. I found six more, but that's the end of the row here. I feel like this year the grass in our garden was out of control. I don't know what the difference was between last year and this year, or what we did differently. I think we got more rain this year. I had to toss like three pumpkins 
because they were getting really soft. I don't know what happened, what's happening. So really we got two pumpkins and there's another little one over there. I don't know what's happening in there. But that might be it for the pumpkin, just two. We also have sweet potato growing in this jungle right here. It's just all mixed in. We have butternut squash in here that is doing really well. This is the last corn. Oh, what is that? That is a saddleback caterpillar. And apparently if you touch him, those little barbs um, could irritate your skin really bad. I think he's like a, some kind of a poisonous caterpillar. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Don't touch him. Come near. Let me show you. That's a caterpillar? Yes. Yeah. Why is it called a saddleback? Because he is wearing a little saddle on his back. I want to see how much these potatoes weigh. See if we doubled our potato production. <laughs> I have a little scale. Turn this on. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know if you can see that but that's a little over 21 pounds of potatoes and we planted 25. I think it's supposed to double, right? I think. <laughs> I was hoping we would get 50 pounds of potatoes, but we didn't. But I'm still happy for these, but we're having more tomatoes that we're getting. We got some popcorn. You plan on canning? I'm planning on canning tomorrow. Maybe some roasted tomatoes. But it's still hot here in North Carolina. It was cool there for a minute, but it, it's hot again. Garden's still producing. We're canning. We're saving everything we can. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. And my name is Penelope. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time. I say you don't.